Hey, Breaks It Brickly here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your LEGO The Lord of the Rings Urukai Army. Now, these are actually four Urukai minifigures. We got the one with the hair piece, the one without the breastplate, of course, two Urukai with the breastplate, full armor actually, and of course, two of these sort of spears right here, and these were actually included within the LEGO Urukai Army set. Then, of course, next up, we got three Urukai minifigures. These, all of these actually were included within the Battle of Helm's Deep set, along with, of course, the Urukai Berserker. So we got, again, four Urukai minifigures added to your Urukai army. And then next up, of course, we got these three Urukai over here to the right. These are actually the Commander Urukai minifigures, with, of course, the White Hand of Saruman on their helmet and, of course, on their shield. These are really cool minifigures, and you could actually get one of these within the LEGO The Lord of the Rings Orc Forge set, and, of course, another one in the Tower of Orthanc set, as well as, of course, the LEGO Alerts minifigure, which you could get within the Orc Forge set, which is also quite a nice minifigure. So, those are actually all of the minifigures you could collect by simply buying buying every single Lego The Lord of the Rings set one time. And right now, I'm actually going to show you how to upgrade this army, because if you want to buy every single set one time, you're going to be able to get this many Urukai. And if you're not a big fan of buying minifigures separately, and you don't want to get any more sets, this is what you have to do it with. And of course, if you want to build some mocks, you're not going to be able to get any more minifigures if you want to stay with the original LEGO The Lord of the Rings collection. Well, today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to upgrade this army. So, I actually started doing this back in the day when I watched a sort of YouTube video, how to make LEGO Helms Deep better, and I actually wanted to make my own Urukai army better. And that's why I wanted to create this video for all of you, of course, for the fans out there who want to upgrade their LEGO Urukai army, because I believe that we definitely should bring back the Lord of the Rings and, of course, uh, building a, a better Urukai army. So I'm just going to go and show you how to do that within this very video. And we're going to go and start with the most important thing, actually, and that is, of course, the variety of Urukai. You can choose between... Uh, two simple things actually. You can keep all of your Urukai within a big variety, or for example, uh, buy a couple of extra pieces for your LEGO Urukai army. You can of course uh, buy some of these breastplates actually. These are uh, the LEGO breastplates introduced within the LEGO Lord of the Rings theme. And these are also quite useful pieces because if you would like to fully armor your Urukai army, for example, we're gonna pick this minifigure right here, as you can see. We got the Urukai from the Battle of Helm's Deep set. You know, this is quite a strange minifigure. You don't really see a lot of these within the movie without the breastplate. So we're gonna remove the head right here and just remove the helmet and the head. We're gonna remove the head, it's quite stuck on there. And we're gonna add this breastplate. And now what this actually adds is a lot more detail. And of course, the fact that this looks like an Urukai from the movie. And of course, they didn't have the shield with these spears as well. So that's something that's inaccurate to the movie. As you can see, this is another one of these soldiers, but I changed another thing as well, which is actually the facial expression of the Urukai. You can see a lot of people collecting Urukai minifigures, but not changing up the facial expression of their minifigures. But as you can see right over here to the right, actually, all of the Urukai have the angry face with, of course, the makeup. Well, that's actually something you can change by simply removing the helmet and, of course, turning the head. And this is something I don't really see a lot of people doing. I prefer a big fiery within my Urukai army, so I, I really like it when my Urukai minifigures have different facial expressions. That just adds a little bit of extra detail to your army, in my opinion. But yeah, that's actually something you can do. And of course, we're actually going to keep this minifigure the same because I kind of like the way it looks. Of course, we got another one right here. This is also perfect. And you might notice something different about the way my Urukai are holding their shields. Well, this is actually the way LEGO wants you to put on the shield. As you can see, just with the regular holding technique, actually right here, just put the shield in like this, 
So that's definitely something strange. I mean, you just turn the head, uh, hand actually to the left, and then you put on the shield. That's not the way to go with Urukai because in the movies you can see the Urukai holding shields like this. You can just turn the head, hand like this. Actually, we're gonna put on the shield, and this is how you can actually see Urukai holding their shields. You can see a sort of slight. Uh, angle within the shield holding technique and this is something I really wanted back in the day and this is the technique you can use just turn the hand that way and that is actually uh, the way to achieve this really cool holding style for of course the shield and that's already something you can also use to upgrade your Urukai army. Now we're going to move on to some other stuff as well I mean we can change the faces of the Urukai but we haven't really changed any of the accessories. I'm going to just quickly turn this face around so you can see we already got quite a nice Urukai army right over here. I'm just gonna go and zoom out a bit so you can see what we got so far. You can of course also move the way your Urukai are standing with the army. Of course we're gonna go and turn this head around as well. Well this is actually what it looks like. If you just move around a couple of the Urukai you can actually already make this army look quite large within your Lego the Lord of the Rings Helm's Deep battle. So this is actually what it looks like. You can also add some of these Urukai Berserker minifigures. And in the original set you actually get this uh, little fire torch and you can actually add that to the minifigure. But what you can also do is of course grab one of these Lego Urukai swords as you can see. We're gonna put on that, but it actually looks quite strange because in the movie they were holding swords, of course, first of all with the dual mold, actually uh, two spikes, but you don't have that within uh, the purest collection of Lego, but you can add this little uh, lightsaber piece added to the, the bottom, and then of course add it to your Urukai Berserker, and this actually adds an ability to create a longer Urukai Berserker sword, which in my opinion is quite nice. I really like the way that looks. So that is actually what I did with my Urukai Berserker to make it look a lot cooler. And this is actually the Urukai army so far. And then we're gonna actually gonna add uh, an Urukai banner, of course, the banner of Isengard. Now you actually got this piece right here. Now, if you all are wondering, where do I get this piece, Brickly? Don't worry, you can actually get this within the Tower of Orthanc set. Actually, two of these pieces are included, but I'm actually gonna show you to make a banner within this army right here. So you can actually have an Urukai holding up this banner. So the first piece you're gonna need is this right here. You're gonna just collect this piece from a set or a Star Wars battle pack or something like that. You're going to need three of these lightsaber pieces in black. We're just going to go and add them with these stick pieces, as you can see. And just go ahead and pause the video if I'm just going too fast. You're going to add uh, these lightsaber pieces as well as, of course, this final one right here. This is what it looks like. And as you can see, that's something you have right there. Another lightsaber piece on top. And then we're actually uh, going to do something a little bit different. We're going to add this blaster piece, which actually is from, of course, Django Fett within Star Wars, but then, of course, in the black color right here. You're going to add that to your uh, little uh, bit of a stick right here as you can see and then we're going to add this uh, droid arm within the black color as well. Let me just go ahead and show you that piece. We're going to go and add that to this piece right here, the blaster. And that's, uh, that's actually the hilter of of course uh, the flag. So you're actually going to, I'm going to zoom out a bit. As you can see we got this piece right here and we're actually going to attach the flag to the droid arm over there, and that's that. That's actually the full tutorial of the Urukai banner. And you're simply gonna attach it to an Urukai minifigure. So let me just go and search a minifigure, search for a minifigure without a shield. And here we go, you're gonna attach it to an Urukai soldier. And that already improves your Urukai army a lot. I mean, you get an Urukai banner that really looks great in my opinion. And that's actually something I've used for over two to three years now within my Urukai army. I think it looks great. So definitely something I would truly recommend in upgrading your Urukai army. Then of course you have these spears right here. And I remember someone commenting the official name back in the day, but I actually already forgot what it's supposed to be called right here. But I'm not, I'm not a big fan of these. I mean, they're not accurate to the movie, so we're just going to go and throw this one away right there. And we're actually going to add an official Lego spear to the Urukai. So this already looks a lot better. So, all right, so we got this spear right here, as you can see. 
and it isn't really that long as of course in the movie so we're just going to go and remove this and we're going to upgrade it you see these pieces right here just the same actually as of course the urukai flagpole you're going to add this spear piece on top and that's actually going to create this really long spear which you could see within the two towers movie then you can add this uh, to your urukai soldier of course like so actually and this will actually be very similar to, of course, the scene where you can see, of course, the Urukai. Let me just go ahead and focus the camera real quick. You can see the Urukai just prepare, preparing, actually, for, of course, the Rohan army stor storming uh, into the army, of course. And that's just really uh, something nice I want to mention. I mean, that's really a great scene you can recreate with this spear. So I definitely recommend getting one of these spears. I actually only have the pieces for one, but I'm actually gonna upgrade my Urukai army with these in the future maybe. So that definitely also is quite a nice idea to use these pieces for a better spear. And of course, finally, this is already a great Urukai army, but you can also upgrade your Lurts minifigure. And maybe in a way for, of course, the Amon hand battle, we're gonna go and do that right here, right now. So you're gonna gra grab an Urukai body and you're gonna add this quiver piece, as you can see, just on the back of the minifigure. You're gonna add the Lurts face, but then with, of course, the makeup on the front, another Lurts hair piece, you're gonna add that as well. And then we're gonna collect a, a black bow for the Lurts minifigure, just attach that simply to the hand. Of course, turn the face slightly so you can actually have the, the hair lining up because you can't really uh, put it on, of course, the back uh, with the quiver in position right there. And this is actually my custom Lurts minifigure. So that's how to create it. And that's actually everything you can do as a purist to of course, upgrade your Lego Urukai army. And this is what it looks like. You can see we got a lot of Urukai with a couple of changed faces. We got a couple more breastplates. Of course, you could add some helmets. If you don't like the hair pieces and want, of course, a fully armored Battle of Helm's Deep, you can also add this helmet right there. And that will, of course, make sure that all the Urukai don't have any spare hair pieces or something like that. So you can have a fully armored Urukai army. That's something you could also choose for. That's an option, but this is how to create a better Urukai army. Of course, let me know in the comment section down below if you have any advice on creating an awesome Urukai army. And I really hope that this video helped out. I definitely searched for this back in the day and I hope I actually met your needs for, of course, 2022. And of course, if you want to see me create some accessories for your Urukai army, like of course, the battling ram, or maybe some smaller ladders for the deeping wall, or maybe even a bigger ladder for, of course, uh, the round walls of Helm's Deep, actually. Just let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see a part two of creating a better Lego Urukai army, and I will go ahead and make that video for you. But thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, just go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to Brickly for more epic content. And I will see you all in the next video on my YouTube channel, Brickly.